Affairs Student Command and the ANC-affiliated student organizations. The crowd prevented Higher Education Minister Bladen Zimande from delivering his speech. A gathering holding much promise. Students, vice-chancellors and other stakeholders hoping to find a solution to the higher education funding crisis. But tensions were simmering from the onset. Minister, Dr. Nzimande, thank you for being here, sir. The higher education minister, clearly not a welcome guest. When student leaders took to the podium, divisions became evident. Yeah. proceedings brought to a halt. Isasco is selling out our students. Our students are being excluded financially, academically, because they don't have anything to pay. So they are not standing with us, they are not being paying solidarity with us. After a brief meeting, all seemed well, until Vitz University Vice-Chancellor Adam Habib was called to speak. We're in a crisis because there's intolerance in our institutions. We're not prepared to hear anybody else. And as long as we're not prepared to hear, you're never going to be able to find solutions to the challenges we have. Minister Blade Zimande subjected to the same treatment. Government officials. The minister was forced to leave. Minister, how do you feel about what's happening here? Do you think they're being unreasonable? They are really being very unreasonable. They are just uh, grandstanding. But students were not done. It was quite, quite unfortunate that we could not have the kind of dialogue that this country needs. We have no stake in it. All we want is to make sure that the dialogue the dialogue continues. The conference cost in excess of 5 million rand, money seemingly down the drain. An initiative that was meant to find a solution has ended in chaos and disappointment. The two-day conference has now been called off. But conveners say it's not the end of the road just yet. They'll continue trying to engage student leaders. Mangobam Tunu, SAPC News, in Madrid.